What's going on guys, Fair Mackey here bringing you another video. Let's get into it, let's roll deep and keep grinding out there guys. Let's dive into the video, let's go. All right, all right. We are back with another session. The last time we finished off, we killed Gurag. Let's go to the second city. This is the talent points we're running with. We do want to max out Master Mechanic now. Well, max out Rocket Turrets and Master Mechanic. Let's go ahead and continue leveling. We're on to the second act. Let's head over to Grim Reaper. We'll do about 25 minutes. Let's see how fast we can progress. With the marksmen, man, leveling with them is really good. I like how efficient they are. And I'm almost tempted next season to just play them again. Because the season that I went Sam, uh, that I went marksman, I think I actually had started off as the paladin and then branched off as the marksman as well from testing. It wasn't really like a beginning start with the marksman. We'll see how it goes, though. I mean, who am I kidding? Next season, it's going to be Jotun, so I'm definitely going to be playing Jotun, testing him out, learning him in and out, releasing guides for you guys. Oh. So, yeah. Oh. Excited for that. All right, let's spawn a drone. Man, our levels are just getting crazy. Quick, drop a turret and run. Oh, another chaos tower. Have they increased the spawn ratios for real? You guys think so? I know there was a lot of issues early on in the season and complaints about the uh, chaos towers not spawning and it was bugged it wasn't spawning they said they fixed it and it didn't work but honestly through leveling all the classes I actually found way more chaos towers while leveling including chaos portals than I did with my live character end game legendary drop we want to keep picking those up so we can break them down oh it's a spare too but we have a mythic spare so we can craft more mythic items so as I'm running by the packs I'm just dropping one turret on top of them and going and you guys can see how they just die even after I leave. So I'll drop a turret here. Drop one next to these guys. See that elite died there. Drop one right on top of those guys. Yeah, see and they just get deleted. Alright, so we maxed out our rocket turrets. We have 50% rocket turret damage now. Which is awesome. I definitely want to do this boss once we uh, kill enough mobs in the map. There's the exit, okay. That elite didn't die. Surprise, he did not die. Oh, he did die now. What? Thought I had spawned the boss. 
Guess not. Do we get anything good? No. Oh, that almost killed me. <clears throat> so now we're gonna go in master mechanics to shorten the cooldown, increase the damage and the attack speed of our turrets. Yeah, even the marksman for leveling early on. Whoa, 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 don't die. Early on in the season is a great starting class. Because you can farm so fast with it. Yeah. That's the thing though, but when the season starts, and there's so many good choices. <clears throat> Excuse me. For a class that you sort of get, because there's 17 classes in Hero Siege, you sort of get overwhelmed that all of them are really fun to play. So, and I really don't decide till really like the beginning of the season. But I, I will always play a different class each season mainly so I can excel at each class in the game and bring something different, you know, to you guys, to my audience. I know initially I started out as the white mage. Here's the exit. Then we went paladin, then we went samurai. We did play a little bit of marksman. Wait, I went back to where I came from. Sorry about that, guys. Where is the exit? Pick up this charm. Could be an upgrade. Yeah, it looks like it's a slight damage increase. Wow, it's down here. I missed it. Man, we are doing so much damage. It's like I saw an armor break on the targets there. That's for my passive, for sure. Just quite a bit of damage increase. Right, let's keep the delicious pie. Level 91 already. This is crazy. And we've gained three levels since I put in my talent points. Let's max out Master Mechanic. Down to an 8 second cooldown. And at 29% damage now. I don't want to get frozen there. Man, I love this. We're killing so fast, the mobs don't have time to even do anything to us.
A lot of item drops here. Wow. Seven point seventy six second cooldown now. Oh, we don't have our drones here. We need to bring the drones. There it is. Wow, man. I'm just playing way too aggressive with uh, Marksman because of the damage, burst damage that it's doing. Oh, we got a legendary charm, but look, doesn't look like it's an upgrade. Had damage. Look at the map clear. If you look, if you pay attention to the mini map, we go in a room. And everything just dies. Nothing lives. Seven and a half second cooldown. And they die so fast. Let's shotgun the Grim Reaper. Two, three, four turrets. Wow, 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 wow. Crazy burst. 300,000. Looks like we got a jade necklace. None of it is an upgrade. Oh, a mythic charm. Okay. Okay, we'll have to check it out. Let's see. First, let's check out the necklace. Max health, max mana, max mana. 8% physical. <clears throat> 18 to all stats. No. No upgrade on the helm. It's Mythic Charm, 77 physical. I lose a lot of health and CDR. But what does it give us? Health, crit rate, max mana. Not really worth losing all the damage and health and CDR for it. This one right here is pretty decent though. No, but we lose the percent physical damage. Not worth. Nope. Uh. Oh, look at this ring. 5% CDR. I'll save this ring when we get to max level. Yeah, nothing really to equip. So let's go ahead and sell. Can we craft another mythic? No, not yet. But we can convert. Alright, we'll just do that. We do have some time left. So let's go ahead and... Let's see here. Yeah, let's rush the next act. I think we can get to Anubis within the next 10 minutes. Because that was very fast. Which is how strong we are. And then we can do a session after we max out on the next video on a different build option to test out the um, volatile shot on the left side of the talent tree. We can see how viable that is. I'm excited to see how that works as well. Ooh, not having enough mana right now. Yeah, we got the checkpoint. 
Yeah, we can go ahead on. Again, to pull up the mini map. Cookies and milk is a good relic for survivability. There's the checkpoint and the exit is right there as well. Let's try to whoa. Took a lot of damage there. Hello. Let's kill this boss. It's usually bosses do really good loot. I mean you can get real lucky. We got an upgraded primal belt. Yes, that's a lot of health. We'll take it. We're doing so much damage. We just need survivability. But I got stuck there for a second. Another chaos tower. Wow, they really buffed the, the spawn ratios on it, huh? If not, come to Nightmare and farm it. <laughs> Man, we're almost a level 100 already. And what? We haven't even completed the third act. How fast it has been on the marksman. saw the exit up here right yes another chaos portal we'll just drop a couple of turrets there keep them there to farm it and boom we reach level 100 the checkpoint So much experience here. It's ridiculous. Unbelievable clear speed right there. Put in our last talent point quick. So I would respect obviously eventually to max out the um, master mechanic. Here's a checkpoint. Yeah, so when you become this powerful, you just wanna rush, get the checkpoint, and then unlock the next difficulty. That's the trick. We got it there. Yeah, we got the checkpoint there, yeah. Yeah, so we just go straight to the boss. These guys have a tendency to charge you, stun you, kill you immediately. Hopefully I don't get stunned by them. Oh my god. Go back to town quick. A little cheat trick right there. And then we go right back in. That way we're full health. Alright, exits over there. Keep going, baby. We'll keep going. Put the tart right in the middle. Oh! He dropped that spike ball in my dome. Almost killed me. 
Okay, the exit's here on the right. Looks like our damage is starting to slow down. It's because how tough these uh, mobs are getting. The level 79s. Look at that. So I went, obviously you guys saw that. Went right, dropped the turret, went left, dropped the turret, backed up. By the time I went back to the other side, everything was cleared. Wow, look at that. Yeah, you can be really efficient with the marksman. Same deal here as Gorag, right? He's gonna he's going to spawn four statues. We wanna make sure we have turrets on all four corners. So that way we kill the statues right away. And we can push the boss. But I think he's gonna die. Oh my god. He died before the turrets actually spawned. What the heck? <laughs> Man, marksmen are pretty crazy. Pretty OP, fellas. Very overpowered. We got some new gear. So let's check out what we got. This pendants, damage reduction, crit damage. Mana, CDR, physical damage, definitely an upgrade. So we'll put that on. Our helm is still good. We're not going to swap that. Chest, no. Belt, no. Gloves. Even though it has 4% strength and 4% physical, that is pretty good with 7% CDR. Let's see. What our damage goes to 87.96, 89.96, and we get CDR with it. So these gloves are definitely better because the percent strength, the percent physical scales really well for the marksman. Ring, we still got that. Boots, physical health, we lose CDR. Ah, it's not worth to lose a CDR. We do gain a little bit of a movement speed. But we lose 10% physical and attack speed. Not worth at all. Let's go ahead and sell. Man. Alright, so let's recap on what we did here. This weapon that we crafted at like, what, level 70? The moment we started Nightmare, completely changed the game for us. It allowed us to just truck the rest of the tier. This, can eat, this weapon is so good that you can probably even use it on Inferno 1. Uh, it's crazy how good it is. You can easily farm hell with this weapon. And, and get your, you know, your reds, your currency, all that. So we went with this neck. Huge physical damage, 132 physical damage. That's some nice crit rate, crit damage on it. Crusader helm, 4% physical damage. Crit rate, 200 physical damage, 7% strength. All skills to your damage. For the charm, we went with a, uh, the Serpent Sigil, 11% physical damage, 141 physical damage, 6% CDR, 19 to all stats, a really good charm. The weapon, we went with a Spare, which is, I like this route because it's different than what we did with the bow and the crossbows before in the other seasons. And, but it gives you more variety while leveling. If you do find a good mythic two-handed, you know, crossbow... A bow, whatever has the highest base damage is what you want to go after for leveling and even for farming early on. It's going to give you the best damage right off the bat. I mean, this weapon is insane. Between the strength, the fit, all of this scales with my character's damage. Not to mention the high base damage. So, chest, we went with the trellis armor. Very good chest as well. Gloves. 
4% strength, physical damage, crit rate, CDR. Belt, straight up survivability, massive health gain, stamina, and, and flat health. Ring, we decided to keep the uh, Mystic Circlet for the mana. We're at what, 2,000 mana now? But we're still, it's costing a lot of mana to cast our spell, so you don't want to run Oom. You know, mana dry and not be able to cast it. We'll stick with that ring. Boots, Crusher Boots. Every time you see Crusher Boots, always pay attention to it. It has huge stats and huge CDR that can potentially roll on it. And they're really good boots. Majority of the times, they'll roll exactly with the stats that you need. This one rolled amazing. 9% stam, 10% physical damage, 12% attack speed, 280 physical, 226 health after kill, which is huge sustainability, 7% CDR. Really good. It does have the nice resistance as well. Our stat sheet, we're at 24 um, CDR. Yeah, we could raise our physical damage, fire resistance, poison resistance. We're not an inferno high difficulty yet, so it's not really that important. But yes, you want to you want to keep your resistances balanced. You can also do that by socketing some gems, some cheap uh, runes in there. For the talents, I would respec and remove two points from arrow rain to only go with eight so that way you can max out multi-shot turret rocket turrets gunner drones and max out master mechanic which will give you an additional 40 percent damage i'm assuming when you max it out as well as increase the attack speed on your turrets you definitely want that and then put a point everywhere else we might mess around with agility to boost our damage even further as opposed to arrow rain with arrow rain i think a couple of points in it would be fine but flat damage increase for your turrets would be better in addition to the drones i like what they did with the drones but that is it guys i hope you guys enjoy this leveling series on the marksman i will do another video where we test out the sharpshooter build and we'll test out the volatile shot and we'll see how that works compared to the gunner drones we'll do a couple of maps with it but that is it we'll see you guys in the next video you guys take care of yourselves in gold deep Woo!